Conventional clinical trials involve taking a drug for several days, weeks, or months, then get some imaging, and then after a month or two, you may make the assessment that it's effective or not. Problem is that that's an investment of time that patients simply don't have. Phase zero clinical trials are a way to avoid all this. A phase zero clinical trial is a way where you test an experimental therapy or drug in a patient before putting them on it and getting real evidence that that drug is going to work for that patient. There's an incredible industry of multinational pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies, large and small, that are developing amazing new agents for our patients. The challenge is that oftentimes these drugs are not intended for brain tumor patients. For many patients with brain tumors, there are surgical procedures planned. We use those procedures as an opportunity to query whether a certain drug is a good fit for someone's particular tumor. We take an experimental agent that we think is matched to the biology of their tumor, and they get a single dose of that before an operation. And so at the time of that operation, we can detect whether that drug actually made it to their tumor and whether that drug actually modulated its target, whether it had the intended effect. With our phase zero clinical trials, they're getting a drug where there is direct evidence that that drug is working for their tumor. And that's one step forward from every other type of trial they've been on to date. If we find no matches, they haven't lost any time, and importantly, they haven't been exposed to any serious risk of side effects. And that's the real heart and soul of the program. For each patient, when there's a new option unveiled to them, that is an avenue of hope. We have the largest operative brain tumor center in the United States focused entirely on this program. And the center itself is going to be laser-like focused on a single strategy, and that strategy is the phase zero clinical trial. So these are not research projects or trials that are designed to bear fruit in five or 10 years. These are trials that are designed to bear fruit for the patients that enroll in them and to give us answers within months, not years. There are solutions out there and it's a matter of finding them, focusing on them, being intelligent in how you pick and choose your battles with this disease. And that's what the Ivy Foundation enables us to do.